The Warriors offseason provides its own adventure, one that has new goals, specifically for those who are just looking for a chance to embark on the journey of the next regular season. That journey begins with Summer League. And in the Warriors case, in Sacramento at the California Classic. Good, Les. Les start, yeah, good. Good, Les, good, Les, good, Les. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. First lead of the game. Oh, he's Santos. Yeah. He's Santos. Your first look is going to be VP right here. Oh, nice oh, play. Hey. Oh, hey. Hey. Well drawn up. That is, I ain't gonna lie, that's tough. Fellas, y'all can't act like that ain't tough. No, I, love I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. That ends a 12-0 Golden State line. Oh my God. Tough move, tough shot. Strong move, Kendrick Davis. And the Warriors will pick up their first win. They'll go one and one here at the California Classic. We have something a little special for you guys. I'm a big believer in non-box score statistics, right? It's not all about the assists and the points on offense. It's not all about the steals, the blocks, and the rebounds on defense. So first off, offensively tonight, Yuri, you were incredible. I don't care what the stats say. Um, you have won the offensive chef player of the game for cooking them up. That means it was paint touch kick. That means you cut through with pace. That means you move the ball, right? Not everything is about an assist, about points. Jace, stand up, my dog. Jace, Jace is the defensive player of the game. We got a shield, he was protecting the house, fellas. He protected the house all night, right? That's verticality, that's trapping the box, that's being the low man that's talking. That's who we are, fellas. That was beautiful. Anyone have anything? Um, the biggest thing that is on my mind for Summer League is just um, going out there and competing. Winning is a big thing around here and we just want to carry that through going into training camp. You know, when you win as a team, your individual things follow suit and I think that's a big thing in the Warriors culture. Obviously to establish myself in Summer League as one of the best players out there. Um, no matter what the team, what the age, what the draft status, I feel like um, I can kind of have the opportunity this year to go out there and really prove myself. My goals for the team this summer is just is just can we get better every single day so that they're in a position um, to get the next job and in a better position to get that when they leave than they were when they got here. Let's lock in, let's get in, let's get out. Get that one out of the system. Turn the fan off. Turn the fan off. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Who want it? Who wants it? 10 down here. Right wing, catch, shot, fake, one dribble, shot. Good, good, good. Let's set the tone tonight. Here we go. Hey, just us on three, one, two, three. Just us, good work. Great work, great day. While the work is put in at the practice facility, game time gives the fans a first glimpse of the newly added dubs. And for Warriors first round draft pick, Brandon Pajemski, a highly anticipated one. Get on there, get over, get over, I got yours. Pajemski. Little DHO to Davis. Santos from the baseline and continues to shoot the ball away. Spinning as he catches it. Out to Pajemski for a right wing three. Brain dance. Hey, you who got shooter? JJ. Cut, 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 Craig. Jace. Throw that. Throw that. Throw that backside. Yeah. Too strong. Pajemski pulls down the rebound. Bounce pass through two Lakers defenders in transition for E. Santos, who finishes second side. Con la izquierda. Talk it out. Let's go. Talk it out, Blue. Where we at, Les? Pajemski with the offensive rebound. We're good. I'm here. I'm here. Yuri, talk to me. Yuri, talk to me. Pull up. Box out. Wonderful ball movement. One more to the corner. Santos, sweet. It's going to go off the front rim. Rebound, Lakers, and that will do it. I think, you know, these are the games you have to go through, right? Like, it's not always going to be perfect. But overall, if BP's being aggressive 
and at the same time he's moving the ball, then he's really tough to guard. I think if you're a fan, you got to be excited about his energy, uh, his enthusiasm, his rebounding, his presence on the floor, and his ability to pass the ball and find open people. But Summer League is not solely for younger guys to develop their talents. It also presents regular season roster players like Gary Payton II, an opportunity to do his own form of soul searching. GP2 here. What up with it? We at Sneaker Con in Las Vegas. We're about to see what they got, what I need. Come with us, check it out. Hey, you ready? Okay, okay, bet. What up, fellas? How you doing? You doing good? My dog. My dog. My homie, my fan. My dog. Welcome to SneakerCon once again. Yeah, you put these together for me. Travis Scott's uh, Tiffany Blues. See with the pink laces? The low tops? 13? Talk to me. 13 done. See the bandanas? That's a little, that's a nice touch. My speed, really my speed. Okay, I see you repping. I see y'all. And it's signed? Yeah. Trying to get something for the nephew. Oh, Which one you like? Look, I like these, you like these? Yeah, that's nice. What is this? No? No. <laughs> Are you taking care of moms for me? You got her? I had those. Excuse me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you already know. Yeah, come on, man. Shout out Sneaker Con and shout out Will for having us and uh, doing the panel. Have fun. Had a blast. Got to show off my heat. So uh, it's good. I just have fun. And we out. Y'all already know. Y'all got to say Warriors, though. One, two, three. Warriors! Warriors. Gang, oh, yeah. guys. Of course, you're going. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And with Summer League taking place in the middle of the off-season, rosters are ever-changing. With that, familiar faces get introduced to new places. Uh, thoughts on joining the Warriors? I'm excited. Uh, I think Steph said it too. I even said it when it happened. It's going to take some getting used to. I think the thing I'm most excited about is the fluidness that the team plays with. I think when you compete against a team for so long and so hard that you have to have some type of appreciation for them and the way that they play and the way that they share the ball and the selflessness of all the different guys on the team. I've been blessed and fortunate to play for a long time, so I've played in Oracle over in Oakland, you know, so I knew what that fan base was like and it was unbelievable. You know, I played against the Monte Ellis's and Beardrins and all, I could name off a lot of people that I played against over the years and to see the team now in the Chase Center, it's always a lot of energy. It's going to be crazy now to be on the other side of some of those runs of Steph and Clay hitting them threes and stuff, man. In addition to fans, coaches also take on the sights of Summer League. For Coach Kerr, the sighting of an old friend and teacher administered a highlight that goes far beyond the game on the floor. Oh my gosh. What's up, Michelle? How are you? How are you? Hi, so good to see you. I'm good. Oh, so good to see you. Good. I'm great. Good. I've got someone who wants to say hello. Okay. Your teacher. What? <laughs> <laughs> I came all the way to Cairo to get your homework. What? Where is what? it? Where is it? I mean, uh, it's still uh, under my, my dog ate it. My dog, my dog ate it. Yeah, we used to use that. That long ago. So well, great. when I watch you on television, and I say, oh, gosh, that's my student. <laughs> I was a principal, and he was a good And everybody was, no, she did. <laughs> <laughs> Steve, I don't know if you remember this, but you used to come to our house and sign the embassy book. And yeah. it's supposed to be for, like, prime minister. Oh, and was, and oh, I, and there's right. a book somewhere that's that has right. your name every time. And my dad would get so mad. I mean, he would always type the, the book out and look at it and say, oh, still does this thing like if you if she's watching the game she's an obsessed Warriors fan like yeah. really? obsessed oh, oh my gosh. St stats and every, everything oh. <laughs> but if you start to like get uh, upset or something she goes yeah. oh calm down oh, calm down Steve and she tries to calm you down for the TV and I just I laugh I'm like mom so not great. child anymore yeah. <laughs> ready three two I'll send these All right. awesome. okay. great to see you Meanwhile, it's not forgotten that the league lends itself to fierce competition. And that fierce competitiveness is what the 2022-23 G League Most Improved Player, Lester Quiones, hangs his hat on. Santos! 
Santos with the slam. Well, I'm here though. Shout out Long Island. Shout out to New York. Shout out moms. I got you. Next place. We good. We cool. I can multitask. I'm smart enough. I got you. Solid. Solid. By yourself. Just wins, Lester. Oh, nice find. Quinones got it to go over Hawkins. Jens give it a quick fire. Jensky missing the floater, and that'll do it. So the Pelicans will win it 94 to 86. What's the biggest area of improvement you've seen from Lester from the first time you played with him last summer? I think Lester always was a great player. I think it was just the confidence. When he figured that out, he started dropping 40 points like in the G League last year. So I think he always got that, but now he's like more confident, and I'm like happy for see him doing this, doing his game. Though the Warriors are focused on getting better while in the desert, assistant coaches like Hilton Armstrong also keep in mind that Las Vegas is still a place centered around fun. Ah, it's a little tight in here. I don't know if we can do it. Might not be able to do it. Got to find something a little different. I'm Hilton Armstrong here at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. I was about to copy one of these cars and enjoy our ride, see what happens. Yeah, it's a little bit better. It's definitely a little bit better. See how it moves on the track, though. I guess they call it dream racing for a reason, huh? I'm dreaming about this since a kid. 30 something years. This is wild. Hi. What's going on, Hilton? My name is Brad. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Ready to drive? Hell yeah. yeah. Now I'm just hyped. This is an experience of a lifetime. I'm here and I'm ready. Call it dream racing for a reason. Let's get it. Man, I'm gonna sweat and this is work. <laughs> Accelerating around the corners it doesn't seem natural. It doesn't seem right. Your whole your life, you're just slowing down, whatever it is. Hitting those corners, you're expecting to slide, but you just don't. It just hugs the corners. This is dope, man. This is dope. What's the next part? Drifting. Drifting. So let me say that now you try to scare the instructor, but now is his time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I had a time of my life, man. I did a couple things in my life, but this is different. This is definitely on the bucket list. We done, it's a wrap, we did it. Let's close up shop. All the while, the Warriors are ultimately focused on improving any way they can going into next season. And Summer League is the beginning of that for newly appointed general manager, Mike Dunleavy, and the rest of the front office staff. How do you feel about the state of the roster as it is right now? Yeah, we feel good. I mean, I think coming out of um, the season, losing the second round, you you know, you evaluate. You talk to your coaches, you talk to your players. Obviously, our staff meets and talks and goes through a bunch of stuff. So we feel like we've addressed some of the things we needed to address um, through free agency, through the draft, and obviously one big trade. And um, I like where we're at. What's exciting you as far as coming into the season? You know what? I, I just think the development of our guys. I mean, again, I talk about Lester and, and, and Guy Santos, just to see their development, you know, in the G League and what they're doing now. Just a year under our belt in our system, how comfortable they are out there, how the game slowed down for them. I mean, you look at Guy's body and just how physical he's he's looking for contact. Lester shooting the ball with confidence. So I, I think that they feel like the development, the player development is really help them we're always evaluating through practices and stuff and then we'll roll it over to that and we'll have our you know the rest of our summer development program through august and september and so always always observing to pajemski bounce pass to the cutting collins gets it out to the corner for king who buries another triple 